The first breaking news right now, flames tear through the Cab County com condo complex once called the worst neighborhood in America because of crime, drug use and torn down housing units. Well, CBS 46's Tori Cooper live at the Brannon Hill condo complex where firefighters rushed to put out flames and Tori, much of that complex had already been torn down. I see a lot of activity behind you. Yeah, Karen, DeKalb County officials say they have been trying to get this area cleaned up for a number of years because of the issues that take place here regularly, including like the fire we saw last night that caused this condo you're looking at to go up in flames. You can see it's a total loss and now they're having to demolish it right now. DeKalb County fire crews say they are constantly getting called out to this Brandon Hills condo community for transient related fires. This is a community that seems to have um, uh, pretty significant fires um, pretty often. Crews say over the last several years, multiple buildings in the neighborhood have burned down because of squatters setting up shop in uninhabitable apartment units as signs of blight still surround the community. Oh, yeah. But Monday morning, another four units went up in flames in this building. Yeah, what we do understand right now is that there were two people actually living in the building, uh, paying tenants, from what we understand and uh, they were also squatters as well. No one was hurt this time, but that hasn't always been the case at Brandon Hills. Recently, we had a death at Brandon Hill where in one of the buildings we have a, a final order on, uh, actually someone got killed. Back in 2019, DeKalb County Community Development Director Alan Mitchell told us the county had already spent more than $230,000 to clean up the area. The property has been problematic for the county, mainly in part because it's privately owned. Two years ago, there were even plans to demolish everything, but the same issues remain and fire crews remain ready to respond. Um, that's all we can kind of do from our standpoint, um, other than the legal things that they can do to, to get the, uh, the complex possibly shut down or whatnot. Now this is right next to the complex that went up in flames. Just take a look at all of this trash. You can see mattresses, couches. I even saw a sink out here as well. But I also just heard back from the county in terms of their statement they shared with us just to bring you some updates on some of the efforts that they have been making out here. They say they have removed 1,200 tons of debris from two destructed buildings representing 28 units. They say they also already demolished 40 units back in 2017. They also say a judge ruled that this was a uh, had to be a court order because obviously this is privately owned and that has been one of the main issues out here about why they have not been able to get all of this torn down. But overall, they say that the court proceedings are still taking place right now and they're doing what they can to get this taken care of. We'll continue to monitor all the new developments out here and share it with you right here. Reporting live in uh, Brandon Hills, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Yeah, very, very busy area of DeKalb County. Tori